Curveballs, this is a baseball problem, and fast balls. It's a nice problem that lets us use some kinematics to figure out how many times the ball spins during the time it's released by the pitcher and it's caught by the catcher or, or it reaches the, the home plate. So let's get some data here. So for a fastball in the major leagues, a good fastball will spin 2,500 RPMs. That's rotations per minute. And the speed of a fastball, typical speed, 153 kilometers per hour. It's about 95 miles, 95 miles per hour. And then for a curve, we have 3,000 RPM, and for a speed, 129.0 kilometers per hour, 80 miles per hour. It's a typical example of speeds that we're using here. And we assume that the ball is thrown in a straight line by the pitcher, say the home plate, you know, is here. And this is 60.5 feet, 60 feet, six inches, 18.44 meters. So let's do it. And we'll do fastballs first. So for the fastball, we have the velocity is 153. 0 0.0 kilometers per hour, and I would like to work in meters per second. So this is 153, 153 times 1,000 meters over 3,600 seconds, and that comes out to be 42.5, actually zero, zero, zero is there, meters per second. On the calculator, it showed 50, it showed 42.5000. And then here, the time for the fastball to get to the plate, we use distance as velocity times time. So for the time, you want the distance over the V, 18.44 meters over 42.5 meters per second is 0.43388 seconds. I always like to round off last. And then the number of rotations for the fastball, well, it's 2500 zero, zero rotations per minute. So I need to cancel out the time. So I can go here with this 0.4 three, three, eight, eight seconds, but then I need to replace the minute by seconds. So here the fastball is two, five, zero, zero. Now rotations has no units, uh, like cycles per second, oscillations per second, rotations per second. So we just go one over, one over minute. That's what we do there. And this is point four, three, three, Eight, eight seconds. So what we want to do is replace this with 60 seconds and then the seconds are going to cancel and we'll get our answer. And when we do that, we're essentially multiplying to 2500 by this decimal and then dividing by 60, you get 18 to two significant figures, 18 spins. Now for the curveball, the velocity is 129 kilometers per hour. So that's 129 times 1,000 meters over 3600 seconds. 
and that is 35.8333 meters per second. And then the time for the curveball using the D over V idea again, this is going to be 18.44 meters, the distance from the pitcher to the plate, divided by the 35.8333 meters per second. Meters cancel, seconds come upstairs. You get 0.514, 60 seconds. And then for the number of rotations for the curve, what you're gonna do is use the 3,000 RPMs, so 3,000 per minute times 0 0.51460 seconds, and then replace for the minutes the 60, so multiply the 3,000 times the decimal, and then divide by the 60, and for the curveball, you get 26. Nice problem application with baseball.